Hey, my bold and the beautiful fans. I wanted to do a separate video. I know you're not used to kind of hearing me on the side unless I'm doing spoilers or recaps or maybe, you know, sweeps videos. But this was an interesting topic because there is a division and a separation between the fans. Who broke this pack, whether it was Brooke or whether it was Taylor first? And we got the details and the timeline, which we're going to talk about. So welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything everything CBS soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is a bold and the beautiful special video where we're asking who broke the pack. So I know these days, everything, when you're bringing up information, you got to have receipts. And of course, you know, I've been doing recaps on this channel for over a year. So now we got to look back at all of the timing because of the Brooke fans and the Team Taylor fans on this. And some things that are being said that are at least when, of course, we looked at all of the comments in the Facebook group on my Instagram account, some of them are accurate and some of them are very inaccurate. So we're going to go back today and talk about some of the actual episodes when everything went down and when this all started. So as we've seen in the June 6th episode, the fans are deeply divided after that whole explosive argument between Brooke and Taylor that got real physical where Ridge had to step in and separate them. Brooke accused her, meaning Taylor, of breaking the pack because she overheard Taylor telling Ridge that she still have feelings for him and Brooke considered that a violation of this whole pact. And also she said Taylor was setting her up with Deacon to clear her path way to Ridge and to be fair Deacon also said the same thing and what I also said in the recap so did Hope she had been doing this as well remember we got the whole thing with Hollis but I honestly think kind of like if you check out Soap's Dirt's actual recap and review of this as well yeah I really don't think Hollis had anything to do as part of this being throwing a you know whole monkey wrench into Brooke trying to keep her from Ridge but I know a lot of folks consider that as well so we need to go back seven months exactly to where this actually began so our first set of receipts start with friday december 16 2022 that was still in season 36 episode number 57 so if you want to go back and look at it you can you can check it out on paramount plus or check out my recap on this channel so they made the pact on that day facts of facts and i guess you can't really deny it even though they didn't call it a pact that day they called it a vow but it was actually the pact that they're calling it now however this is where we also saw brooke and taylor eating cake together they vowed to never fight over ridge again and that was their vow not to fight again and they made it a vow neither of them to even reunite with him as they both discussed that they were probably better off with him and they vowed to never fight about him they also talked in that episode about how ridge repeatedly betrayed one of them with the other and he did it in both different ways they had their cake celebration the girls came on in steffi and hope and they were worried because the last time their moms had cake together they were brawling and fighting over it and it was a messy mess with you know but steffi and hope were happy to hear that they had made the vow and that they both decided that ridge was not the man for them and so that the vow was the vow and it was to never approach him again even if it had been strictly uh you can't speak with him in a sexual manner or flirt with him you can't kiss him touch him or any of that stuff but that's when they made the vow on december 16th I got to say, my Brooke fans, I know you want to put this on Taylor, but here's the next receipt. So don't get mad at me. We have to skip now to one week later after the vow was made on episode Friday, December 23rd, which was season 36, episode number 62. Again, you can watch it in my recap on this particular channel as well or on paramount plus and somewhere midstream because you know the series is uh 30 minutes long so it had to be around the 13 or the 15 minute mark where it was the new year's eve party at eric forrester mansion and ridge was surprised 
by people or people were surprised by him dropping in. Now, Taylor wasn't there, but Brooke was. Ridge didn't hang out too long. He was walking out a party along. Charlie and Pam was standing up on that staircase, which goes above the foyer over at the Forrester Mansion. And they had a little fishing pole. You remember that fishing pole thing? It had a mistletoe on the end of it, and they dangled the mistletoe above Brooke and Ridge's heads. Now, he didn't mention kissing her or anything like that. It was Brooke that said that it would be rude to deny the magic of the mistletoe. So she was the one initiating the kiss then. And then again, uh, like I say, you can check it at the 13 or 15 minute mark. Ridge leaned in, put his face beside hers to kiss her cheek. She stopped him, put her hand on his face, tilted his face into her lips, and then kissed him on the mouth. Now, this was definitely not a deep, passionate kiss. It wasn't them kind of making out messy, sloppy or anything like that. But it was a kiss. It was a romantic one. And it was one week after the vow was made. And so far, it has not been brought up to Taylor as well. And remember, Ridge this past week was flashing back to it. Or was that the other day? But you know what? Before we do that, let's just skip to the April 10th, 2023 episode, which was season 36, episode number 135. This was the night that Ridge came to Brooke's house for dinner when all of the other people that were supposed to be there, Hope, Liam, and the kids, but they weren't. Brooke went upstairs. She came back down in this extremely see-through blue nighty, which is what I always refer to in my recaps. Now, this is not the type of nighty that a woman kind of sleep by herself. I mean, just as my opinion, but it was definitely something sheer you can see through. And you can tell that there was a little bit of flirting going on. And then remember, she kind of pulled it off her shoulder and she let it drop to the floor. And it was, yeah, I mean, you can tell definitely she was flirting with him. And it was, you know, barely there. Now, she and Ridge almost kissed. She was heavily flirting with him. And then she stopped short of kissing him and said, you know that she's not going to do this. So he left. And then guess who came? through the door who had been spying on them from the balcony doors she walked in of course hope went nuts saying what are you doing what are you wearing she picked up her mom's robe remember threw it in her face hope was pissed and now we gotta bear in mind hope didn't just walk up there this was when she was also watching as well. And she had this whole disgusted look on her face. And then, of course, the episode skipped some of the scenes was Thomas was sketching. It comes back to them. And then mom, she was saying that she was right there. Saw all of the candles, the flirting, the giggling. You wearing that? Really, mom? When is it going to stop? Okay. So then Brooke insisted that they were just talking. And Hope said, I have eyes, mom. But then then Brooke completely changed the subject back over to Hope, what she was on edge about. And of course, Hope was on edge because she had been drooling and googly eyed over Thomas already at this particular point. So it was definitely all messy. But, you know, there was a lot of receipts there to show that a week after they made that whole vow, Brooke had kissed him at the New Year's Eve party. And then, you know, what had happened on the April 10th episode as well. Now, of course, we talked about the previous two episodes. And it's clear when Taylor asked Ridge about those two occasions and breaking the pack, he kept silent about it. Because, I mean, Ridge is Ridge. We know he wasn't going to say anything, which tells me he had more allegiance to Brooke than anything out of this situation. He didn't tell her about what happened in New Year's, nor did he tell her about what happened on April 10th. And even when he was hesitant and silent, she got her answer right then and there. Plus throw in the whole situation with what's going on currently with Thomas. Then Brooke telling her to tell Steffi to recant what Steffi actually saw. And the fact that also what 
Brooke actually knows from her own daughter by Hope admitting that she had feelings for Thomas. This is now retaliation for her. Now, we also did see a few days ago, I can say that, Taylor, you were being just a tad bit shady by sending Brooke on to Deacon or vice versa. And then at the same time, you were in there giving information to Ridge how you wanted to be with him. Ridge almost kissed her a few days ago. It didn't happen. But then now we're back to square one. And now the pact is officially over. And then five minutes after Taylor left the room in the Tuesday, June 6th episode, which of course is today. Then we have Brooke talking about her destiny He's saying, I don't believe in eternal love. And oh yeah, she's trying to flip that back with Bridge saying, oh yeah, you might not believe in it, but I see a future with us together. So with everything we put on there, has Taylor been a little bit shady in these last few weeks? I would say yes. However, who actually broke the pact originally? It was Brooke. I'm sorry, Brooke fans. It is what it is. The timeline speaks for itself. First, when they made the pack on December 16th, she kissed Ridge under the mistletoe on December 23rd. She had the flowing blue nighty on April 10th, even hope catching her. Brooke also swearing Ridge to secrecy, not to say anything about it. And now we're here. So it is what it is. You can't fax. There's nothing about your feelings. Or they say facts don't care about your feelings. It is what it is. So I wanted to put that out there. And, you know, I try to make sure that uh, you have the details. So let me know your thoughts. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. I just had to put it out there because I know we have a mark of demarcation between the fans, Team Brooke, Team Taylor. And so I kind of want to give you the receipts and the details so you guys can see it for yourself. So until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.